So after a lot of talking and speculations and guesses about the PlayStation 5, turns out, and this has been confirmed, that yes, the PlayStation 5 is going to be huge. Uh, just a quick comparison there against the other devices. So if you guys are planning to get this console, make sure you clear out some space because you will need it. What's up guys, Triple M here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. I do everything tech, streaming, as well as product reviews. Smash a thumbs up on this video and definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. So the PlayStation 5 has gotten a lot of attention for the wrong and the right reasons. Some people like me love the futuristic design, love the angles and just love the curves on it. And it just comes down to styling. Other people hate it. A lot of memes out there, not gonna go through that again. We went through that in the initial video, but a lot of people really don't like the design. But what's important is that the size of the PlayStation is gonna be huge and it has been confirmed. So you can see on the photo right there, it's about 38 centimeters, which is about 14 inches. Now compared to the other devices, you can see it's quite large. Now this is no longer speculation, guys. So Matt McLaurin is the vice president of user experience at PlayStation. And yesterday he answered a couple questions on his LinkedIn. When he was asked about the PlayStation 5 and why it's bigger and bulkier, his answer was that the gen is a little supercomputer. While the seven nanometer process delivers amazing heat performance for power, the power is extreme. He's also commented that the seven nanometers process refers to the ever shrinking semiconductor technology that allows tech companies to fit higher performing components into the same amount of space so the other half of the equation is making sure that new components don't overheat so if the playstation 4 has ever started to sound like a bayou airboat you know that the ventilation has been a problem for sony's current generation so referring to the playstation 4 and the small form factor and a lot of people complain that when you actually load games in it, it sounds ridiculous. It's super loud and that's due to the slim form factor. So what they're trying to do essentially just avoid having this issue with the new generation. So how folks were able to determine the size of the PlayStation is essentially just using the size of the disc tray and then just analyzing based on the rest of the system. And you can see the side by side there with the generations over the years. Uh, the closest thing that we have size wise is the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox One. Drop your comments in the comment section guys. Let me know if this will be a deal breaker for you. I know for me it's not. Uh, this is a display piece so as long as it doesn't get too large. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.